Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, we got a little guest here. Who hey, get out of here! Leave. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get out of here before okay. he starts following us. Like that other guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, me and Deadlock, I think, fought these first two here, Chris. Yeah, I have not. No, you're fine. To be yeah. fair, you only need to fight one. You don't need to fight. But, but conveniently, a uh, nice little peek behind ah! the Thanks, Deadlock. That was great. Nice little peek behind the curtain for you, Zach. I just finished inking the thumbnail. I will uh, scan it and color it this evening and send it to you when I'm done. All right. Like I said, no rush. I'm very relaxed right now, actually. I've, I've got nothing else going on. I've got this, and uh, then I'm just waiting for a bunch of frigate missions to finish in No Man's Sky. That's really all I'm doing. I keep... <laughs> I keep, because we've been using the air, or I've been using the air for so long, I keep forgetting that I switched them over. Mm. But this guy has a muck, which I don't really have anything to deal with that. Huh. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I just got and, uh, killed, uh, dealing with its Grimer. So he has that too. He's probably got two Grimers, there were two Grimers and a muck, I would guess. And he poisoned Anne. That's just great. Michael Ferry is taking the sludges pretty well. If I wanted to, I I told you that earlier. Like the fairy learned uh, flash, or learned minimize. So I have minimize and flash. So if I want, if I get stuck with an annoying trainer, just use that. So you're yeah, that's that's like full on cocksucker strategy. Yeah, I won't. I wouldn't use it against you guys, but in in these battles, if I get stuck at something, just do that. Well, mm -hmm. this muck just killed my newest recruit. That's unfortunate. Your your uh Vulpix. It might have been. I'm gonna be that honest. Is, like... I mean, you say what you're gonna say first. Oh, I was gonna say like unless he went even further ahead. The I, was... I did not go that further ahead. Just... Am I getting so defensive? Besides, if I wanted, if I really wanted it, I have the fire stones on me already from the previous regions. Oh, fucking don't hold back. I mean, you can do that. Yeah, I mean, you probably have the team. I mean, I'm saving for uh, level up moves because yeah, cause it's one of those things. Yeah. I mean, really, Flamethrower is the only one worth your while. Well, there's still, like, other coverage moves that you might want it to learn. I can only, uh, unfortunately, um, Ami's move pool, I'm just used to calling it Ami, is not very diverse. No, not I mean, it does the... get Psychic, Ghost, and Grass, so that's actually not bad. Well, yeah, it gets Grass, I know it gets Solar Beam, and I think, it doesn't get Energy Ball, I don't think. No. It actually does, I think. No, I don't uh, think it does. No, I'm, I'm, I always recall running it with Solar Beam, because Energy Ball was no dice. Yeah, plus it gets Drought, so it gets the free sunny day. Well, I don't. it gets Drought as a hidden ability. Well, I'm not saying in this game, but I'm just saying in general. That's what I would do. Yeah, your, yours and my Ninetales have Drought. Deadlocks, there, there's no way it'll happen. Does your Ninetales run the same stuff that mine does? Yeah, it does Maybe. learn energy ball. I knew I wasn't crazy. All right, but all right. So you could get energy ball in this scenario, but you might. But in if you had the hidden ability, solar beam. I mean, yeah, but that would also kind of put it. Actually, no, that wouldn't really because that would actually be beneficial to my Venusaur in a way. Yeah, it'd be. I mean, there's no downside to if you had drought. I mean, uh, do I want to fight these two? Yes. I already need to heal. Yeah, I already had to go back just because my new little guy just got a bit wrecked. This fucking bird needs to learn something better than Gust. It is level 28 and it still has not learned wing attack. Jesus Christ. Pidgeot? I mean Pidgeotto? Yeah. Let me see. What does it learn next? Because uh, I already, uh, I, I already denied it Feather Dance. Oh, it doesn't learn Wing Attack until 37. What? Say what? Yeah. Since when? Uh, apparently Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Uh, that is some bullshit. It used to learn, at Gen 1, used to learn it at level 31. Fuck that. Do either of you have Aerial Ace on you? Uh, probably. Actually, yeah, it, we attack at 37 at Gen 4. Let me look at Gen 2. I'm gonna, like, go in between. That three. is crazy! Oh, it, never mind. I have it. Wing attack at 33 in Gen 2. And then, we, we attack. The earliest they could learn it was in was level 27 in Gen 3. Hmm. But after that, it looks like it st got to 37 and stayed there. Can Aerodactyl learn acrobatics? Uh, not sure, but I can look. I'm pretty sure. I do not think it can. 
Because I remember having that problem with just like trying to find a good flying move for Aerodactyl, and that was one of my biggest problems. To be fair, if he could learn acrobatics, that'd be terrifying. It would yeah. be exceptionally terrifying. Because if he cannot, then I'm just going to give acrobatics to Pidgeotto and hold on to Aerial Ace for when I get Aerodactyl. Uh, yeah, it does not look like he can learn acrobatics. Damn it. Yeah, I distinctly remember that, because like, it was either a level 60 power- Oh! Well, to be fair, neither can Pidgeotto. It was a level 60 base- No, I mean, just like in its Musa in general. It was either a 60 base power move or fly. Yeah, Acrobatics was a, uh, is a weird move. It works on a bunch of Pokemon, not necessarily just flying. Yeah, a lot of fighting tapes incidentally get it. Cross Chop? Yeah, we'll get rid of Karate Chop for Cross Chop. I'm not staying on the team anyway. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Nope. Um, Alright, that was it. I don't think there's anything in the- unless I can get a- Oh, I can't remember this. These four. I wish they okay. were all just facing forward. It'd be much easier that way. Successfully acquired... A second... thing. Wait, no. What can I... Hmm. A dang poison! You need to do that now. This should be the only place I'm able to do it. Do what? Oh, it's. Oh god, coffee makes me self destruct. Yep. Bye, Clefairy. There we go. It's a good thing. They... I put the EXP share on the Mankey. I will say, I do enjoy being able to just buy pretty much everything we need. Oh, that's very convenient. Hello, Aerial Ace. Goodbye, Gust. Get the fuck out of here. And who knows when Vector will show up. Oh boy. Okay, so now I at least have something to fight the grass to. I was gonna say I don't, but a Charmeleon. I was gonna say this is this is really the first point in the game where choosing Charmander actually pays off. Yeah. It it really is. <laughs> it's alright, Charmeleon Cause, one day. Cause if for some reason you had a Charizard at the third gym, you were really screwed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that flying type wouldn't have done you any favors. But if you have one for Erica, you're damn near untouchable. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty well set for Erica, actually. Yeah, I'm very well set myself. I mean, I'm not worried, because I have a like one poison type and one flying type, so I'm pretty sure I can get the job done. Well, she's going to have a gloom, so it's going to be neutral there, but that's still neutral. That's not that I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the Pidgeotto will just sweep... Excuse me. Sweep the entire thing. I thought he had a. I thought she had a vile bloom. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. I just know she's gonna oh, have something um, in the bloom line. Actually, I definitely I remember her having a victory bell. Actually, I think uh, she has five Pokemon. I know that. I think AJ. Uh, like I was unintentionally looking over her shoulder when we were eating, and she was fighting Erica. To be fair, that was kind of expected. Eh, it's fine. Either way. I mean, I didn't think she would have five Pokemon though. So that's. Yeah, fine. I've. I, I'm kind of, I don't want to say cheating, but I do kind of have an idea of what she's got. Oh, damn it, fucking well, then, poison. You will go first regardless. Oh, no, the yeah. one is whoever gets that first. Nah, I don't care either way, honestly. It doesn't make too much of a difference. Especially for me, having probably the biggest... Well, no, actually, Dalek, you got a fire type too now. Mm-hmm. So, I don't I'm, mean, still, I'm still rocking my core three. Uh, I've got four. And two of Currently them aren't doing well. much. I can't be level up above the Vile Plume too much at this point, because it's level 33. The cap is 37. And the, I thought you said your Pokemon were below the, my starters one. No, the, Char the, you have... the Charmeleon is. I yeah, said several of them. We don't all have the luxury of having a starter that reaches its final form at level 32. Yeah, I, that, I thought it went 36 like all the others. No, no you didn't. They're not all flat. Hmm. So, so it makes it even weirder. I think there have only been the closest in terms of overall. Yeah, I think there there have only been a couple of generations where the fixed evolutionary levels for all three starters were 16 and 36. I don't. Yeah. Because hmm. I know in Gen 2 they were all over the place. Yeah, they, they're not consistent, which is fine, honestly. So they're all in the, the same proximity. They all learn, evolve in the teens, and then they all evolve around the the mid to late 30s. Yeah. 
except for Venusaur, who gets 32. But I, I think I think for Alligator evolved early too. All I remember is Meganium has the hardest time in Johto. Let's see. Well, that's because the first gym is flying type. Uh, and then the second one is Bug. Oh, yeah, for Alligator evolved at level 30. It, that it, has a Scyther. I mean, it had a late middle evolution at 18, and then evolved yeah. at 30 to f its final form. Then really again, works. there's also an Ice and Dragon gym at some point. We get it. Meganium has a hard time. Like, I can't... Like, was there ever a place where Meganium actually shined in any of those gyms? No, but that's uh, what you get for choosing Meganium. Bruno, I guess. Hey, don't don't hit on, don't rip on Mr. Steak. Mr. Steak had so many times he could have died and he didn't. No, he didn't, because what, what we found out later is Mr. Steak is unkillable. Mr. Steak was lucky from the blaze kick. You but I guess technically, if you're, like, if you're fishing for times when Meganium was useful, uh, late game, like when you get into Kanto, is when Meganium really starts to be useful. I consider that less late game and more post game. Which I don't well, know if that's... that'll count for this? See, I, I always consider the end of the Gen 2 games when you fight Red. What's the matter? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still like another half of the game you can just go nuts over, and I love it for that, but I still would consider it post game. And technically, Zach, the difference between a crow and a raven is a matter of opinion. Maybe? I don't know, I don't know the differences between a raven and a No, 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 literally, like, like, aside from their size and a couple of markings on them, on their wings, uh, ravens have an extra little digit feather on the end of their wing, it's called a pinion feather, so literally the difference between a crow and a raven is just a matter of opinion. Oh my... Ah. <laughs> Canceling this look, I'm destroying my channel, deleting everything. Very oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought that's what people came here for. Like, your deadlock is the serious one. I'm the don't give a fuck one with the lame jokes. I'm very unhappy right now. No, See, really? Hey, there you go. You get to be the unhappy one. Ah, fucking static. Oh, yeah, the, the Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah, I got the same. Yeah, thing. my Pikachu's been getting that proc a lot on a lot of Pokemon. It's just like, huh. It's a pretty generous proc. It's still like, what, 30%? Yeah, that's still pretty generous, let's be honest. Yeah, that's that's actually very generous for an ability. Is that all? Yeah, that's, that's almost half. And I'm in Celadon. We'll be there in a second. Oh, that, that means we're close to the, the mall, right? Is that... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the place with the mall. Yeah, Celadon is the place with the department store. Perfect. Well, I don't know if there's anything useful there, but might as well check it out. TMs. Um, well, we don't know what TMs are going to be there, is the thing. Uh, you know. I will there. find out for you. I'm almost there. I still got a few more trainers up here. Yeah, I got. Well, Hyper Fang. That's probably gonna. Oh no. The Jodo is still alive. Screw your meowth. No. Zach, we call that bad touch, and we don't do it. Okay, yeah, there is definitely a lot of... This... Okay. This first counter does not have a lot of TMs. Use your words, dude. Yeah, the first counter doesn't have many TMs. It does have some pretty good ones, though. Focus That's Punch, bad. Water Pulse, Giga Drain, Iron Tail, Steel Wing. Hmm. Secret Power could be pretty useful sometimes, but other than that, nothing really here. I'm gonna check the other levels. I'll probably be needing that Giga Drain for later. I think I think Erica gives it to you for beating her. Does she? I think so. Oh, she's gonna give us a grass move of some kind. Okay, somebody teaches you counter down here. So I feel like it's that yeah. or energy ball. It's probably Giga yeah, Drain. yeah. The guy you learn counter from the guy standing behind the counter. Ah. Uh, no, no. That's I. I would love to take credit for that, but I. I know, can't. I know, but it's just like the joke writes itself. Oh, it, it didn't even write itself. They straight up lampshaded it in the first game. Like, he straight up said, yeah, it's because I'm behind a counter. Anyway, the uh, next door has the elemental stones, in case you didn't have them before. I'm pretty sure we're good on that. Well, that's good, considering you get to steal that man's Eevee. And let's see here, and you have the stat boosting battle items. The one, like, the X... Items. Yeah. Alright. Not, not useful to me. Or not something I would go out of the way to buy. Wait, is that the town with the arcade? No, it's Saffron. Yes. 
Huh. No, that's no, that's Celadon. Is it Celadon? Uh, a girl on the roof gets you, gives you a life screen, light screen if you give her a drink. Huh. Oh, um, talk to her a bunch of times and give her different drinks each time. Oh, okay, so that means I need to buy the others then, because I had none of the others on me. Yeah, um, the, the TM she gives you is reflective of the drink that you give her. So let's see what the other ones are then. If one of them is light screen, it stands to reason that, um... Another one's gonna be reflect. Yeah, Reflect is gonna be one. The next one is Safeguard. All right, yeah, okay, then sense. yeah. How many drinks are there? Three. Alright, then the yeah. other one's probably Reflect. It is Reflect. Yep. I'm not surprised by that. No, Mikey! Hmm. This is unfortunate. Is Amber. this the coughing that self-destructed on you? Yes. Probably gonna do that right away. I don't know why it did it, but it did it right away. Hmm. That's disconcerting. Did you hear it over there? Yeah, he's softening me up before he blows up, I guess. Okay, use that as an advantage. Always do. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's see What's if we, we can get an Eevee. Oh, okay, this goes. Lavender Town? Wait, what? God damn it, security. I'm so glad that self destruct and explosion don't cut your defense in half anymore. Yeah, well, that didn't, yeah. that didn't stick around for too long. I think that was just Gen 1 and 2. Still, it was devastating when it was a thing. Yeah, even something that had terrible attack could use it. Mm -hmm. Also, it was base. 150 or 200? Can't remember. You know it was uh, ridiculous when they changed it. Yeah, self destruct was the 150, explosion was 200. But I remember uh, I had a, a smear goal back in Gen 2. And I, I remember I used to bring it to all my brother's baseball games and, you know, battle my friends and his. It had agility and explosion. Oh, so I would, so I would set up once with agility, and you know, while they were, you know, too busy freaking out, going, "Oh my God, it's a smear goal! You know, what does he have? What is he going to do?" And then the second they try to formulate a strategy, I would just blow up. S suicide bomber. <laughs> Pretty much. A terrifying terrorist at that. Well, unfortunately, I was too young at the time to even make a joke like that. Come to think of it, I'm, I'm not even sure 9/11 happened yet. When Gen 2 came out? Yeah, when, when did Gold and Silver come out? Uh, I think 2000? Huh. Uh, 1999. Really? Hmm. Okay, November so of 1999. So you were close. Yeah, yeah, no, then that would have been during the first year of their release. No, it, it actually hadn't happened yet. Interesting. Oh, couldn't move for a second. No, I remember, uh, at the time, it was... Wait, it no, was like, shortly... how did you get to Celadon? Oh, wait. Yeah. I mixed up Celadon, Saffron. Whoops, I'm dumb. Begin. I remember there was a, um... There was a kid I used to go to school with, and his mom was, like, hardcore religious. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, old school, um... Like, physically disciplining her child, like, brutally religious. Mm. And when Pokemon came out, there was one of those televangelist preachers, for the life of me, I can't remember his name, who uh, basically preached that Pokemon were the devil. Yeah, I think I've seen a uh, recording of that, because I think it was on the news. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, but but you know the, the guy I'm talking about. I think so. She saw that, uh, that, I guess, broadcast or newscast or whatever you want to call it, and she not only confiscated all of her son's games and cards and everything else, but beat the poor kid to within an inch of his life. Jesus. Tad extreme, no? Does anyone remember where to get the, uh, the coin case? Uh, I believe it's some... It's either Rocket Grunt has it, or it's this no, guy there, down here. There's a guy, uh, in a building that looks almost like a, like a buffet. He's sitting in one of the, at one of the tables, and he gives it to you for free. I am going to cut down this tree to see what's here. There's nothing there. I can see the whole path. Doesn't oh, you can? Yeah, you don't need to use, need to use cut there. You could just walk around. 
Well, that's but Deadlock, dumb. Deadlock, do you mean to tell me that we belong to an unfortunate race that has slaughtered oh, like hundreds of thousands of people in the name of whose god is better? And a you act people? like I agree with such an ideology. Unless... Oh, no. I, I know you don't any more than I do. But, like, slaughtering fat, like, potentially millions, and a mother beating her child is where you draw the line. No, I still draw the line at that, but I've, I was always of the mind that's like, we're still doing this stuff to our own people. Like, I, mm, yeah. Oh, okay. I think it was, was it one of the, it was someone, I think it was this guy. Yep, it was him. I mean, certain religions, I can, like, some of them I actually find interesting, and books like, you know, the Bible, the Quran, or, like, if you actually stop and read them, very, like, very good guidelines of how to live a, a decent life. Right. When you start dabbing into cult territory, on the other hand, that's when it gets a little out of control. Mm. Give me your coins. Give me your money. I have a gambling addiction. It's very, it's quite serious. By the way, uh, did you get the tea yet? No, not yet. I don't care about that. I don't know. Oh, because like, yeah. this, this building's design just mystifies me. Like, who was the architect of this building? Like, there was, you can... There, I don't think there was an architect. They just handed a pencil to an APOM. You know, I still never got why you had to go next door to a building to exchange the coins. Why isn't it just one building? Good question. But what I want to know is, why is it that the only room on the roof you can only get to if you go through the back door and up several flights of stairs? Fun Maybe fact. he's the groundskeeper. Fun fact, you can get a... Why are, there, why are there so many... Why is it you need a freaking separate staircase just to get to the roof, though? Oh, sweet. Alright, cool. Wait, what's the mystery box? Which contains unknown tro unknown rewards. You... Wait, where are you? I'm in the, co I'm in the coin place. Take I don't see you in here. No, I'm in the one next door where you exchange prizes. Oh. There's a mystery box. Do I buy the mystery box, guys? I'm gonna buy the I have a feeling. With the, I have a feeling we're. Oh, I already wait, bought it. Wait, I can buy a tuxedo. I mean, Zach, yeah. Zach, a boat's a boat, but a mystery oh, box I need... could be anything. Mm. It could even be a boat. It could be. Let's just take the boat. It. It takes nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand coins. I opened. I got the mystery box, but what did I get? Wait, how did you get it? I bought the coins. How many coins did it cost? Uh, I got nine. I got all of them. How many coins? Every one. Oh, oh my all god, I just looked. Them. There's a lot more Pokemon in the yeah, uh, you, prize. You can just straight up buy it. Like, half the shit I'm looking for is here. Yeah, there's a Horsey, a Vulpix, you know a Wigglytuff. Because depending Wait, on which game you were looking for, it was exclusive to those versions. Okay, but what I want to know is, why is there a Wigglytuff and then there's a Clefairy? It's not a Jigglypuff and Clefairy, or Clefable and Wigglytuff, it's the evolved form and then the unevolved one. Jigglypuff is... It's their I mean, game. I think I think Jigglypuff got her uh, uh, start to stardom in Celadon City, so they offer the Wigglytuff as an homage. Just seems weird. Yeah, it is what it is. And sir, there is a Dratini here if you really want to go through that pain. No. And a second cause, Eevee. Because the... The evolution is at 55, and that was pretty That's close good. to the cutoff. What's good? Uh, I've got two more trainers, and then I'll be in the city. It's all right. Uh, don't buy the rocket. I'm gonna buy the tuxedo. So now I have a tuxedo, and I have a hat. Too bad you can't buy their hat. That's all right. But now my outfit is like more complete. Look better. Oh, uh, d d I don't, you have to put it on. I know I have to put it on. I don't know what happened with the mystery box, though. Should I, uh... Should I alter my thumbnail image to have you in the tuxedo, then? Uh, I mean, if you want, you can... You, you can use this one first, and put, I can put, I can change the thumbnail one. I, I think you need a better hat for that now. I like that. I like, I like how I look. I look like a monster. Hold on, I need, I need more coins. Yeah, there's a gambling problem, Chris. It's not gambling, I'm buying and selling. But I did just burn, like, all my money. Okay. You, you would think, given, like, the fact that I grew up in very close proximity to Atlantic City, that I would be associated with at least one person with a gambling problem, but I've actually never seen one. Actually, these coins are extremely cheap. Oh, compared to... 
wherever we were that was gambling. Very. Hoenn. These are a lot cheaper than Hoenn. I got... Like, now 50 I have, coins like, is only 250 money. Like, I think that's even better than the actual games. Okay, I need to look this Chris, up now. What were the prices a, in Fire Did you hear Red? that? 250 money. Deadlock's still playing Kingdom Hearts. Alright, now I don't need you. And I don't need you. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna need your guys' help for some trades. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Oh, wait, shit. Oh, I'm... I'm look at... Oh, right, building. Oh, you're not. Oh, that's alright. Never mind. I, I'm. I bought one thing, and I'm not actually gonna use it yet. Uh, what? You alright? Yeah, but what? What? What's going on? Uh, I bought two Pokemon, and then I realized I was saving this the, the second one for uh, later on for Kanto or not Kanto, oh. but, uh, Sinnoh. Okay, I had to look this up just for my own sanity. Yeah, the coins in this game. Or a fourth of what they were in the actual release. Hmm. It's 250 for 50 coins here. In the base game, it was a thousand. Huh. So they so... are significantly cheaper here. Hmm. So, promotion of gambling? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the actual games nixed it all together. So I'm all... Trust me, I'm good for that. Uh, where'd you two run off to, by the way? I'm at the Pokemon Center. Oh. Like, real talk, though. Did anybody actually enjoy that Voltorb flip game that replaced the game corners? No. Nope. Maybe, like, the first time and, like, right away, but after that... I had to yeah, pull up... Yeah, the actual method to farm, it was horrible. I had to actually pull up a website that calculates what the probable, uh, solution is. And when you're doing that, you know you have a problem. Yeah. It's no wonder why they removed them in later installments. What, the uh, Voltorb flip? No, just the game corner in general, because the Voltorb flip probably killed it. But see, that's just the... Like, put the fucking game corner back. Like, hmm. I, I've... I have not met a person who's played the original Pokemon games who has a gambling problem. Honestly, my biggest... Because they weren't actually games of luck the original ones you can actually see them and actually react to them and actually play them yeah it was it was a skill based game and that's like you see um, because they aren't lever based claw machines they are skill stoppers yeah and and you see shit like that in a bunch of games that feature casino themes like i think it was the first sonic adventure game there's a whole casino level that you actually have to go around and collect rings just to buy your way into the final area. Never actually played Sonic Adventure games. I, th I think we've had this conversation several episodes ago, but they were my introduction to the series. Specifically Sonic Adventure 2, and then I went back and I played the first one afterwards. Ooh, I like that. Uh, can I borrow one of you two? Well, uh, I'm not I'm there right yet. over here, so I'm heading into the center now. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not there yet, so Deadlock, you've just been voluntold. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm in the underground... I, 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 choose oh. to believe these are, I choose to believe these are evacuation tunnels. Oh. So, Zach needed to trade for something. What is it? Uh, you'll find out. Does he have a scissor now? Bitch, I might have a scissor. Hmm. All right, I'm in town. Oh my, I just noticed the nature on that too. That's disgusting. <laughs> that was very lucky, honestly. Did you see its IVs? I did not look at them. And I was, t and, I, and now in hindsight, I'm terrified. The hell is going on over here? Uh, what are you oh. doing? What are you talking about over here? I'm checking to see what they got, but I got to shake that fucker down for the coin case first. Oh, he's in the first building underneath the... Yeah, yeah that one right there. He's in the back corner. Oh, yeah, by the way, don't forget to get the uh, tea on the first floor. Oh, yeah, the, uh, I think you for reminding me, because I will forget that. I, I won't, because Saffron City is... I still disagree with the architects of this building. I told you, they just, they handed an APOM a pencil. What? Was APOM even around to be even given that? That's the point. No, he, he was half an APOM. He was a drawing himself. That's why this building sucks so bad. 
can go in behind the building if you really want to. Well, there's an Eevee up there, so... There is. I have... I mean, I'll go grab it if it's good. As much as I like Eevee, I'm going to be passing this Actually, round on I am going to go grab it for future use. Not for this. Yeah, because I, I currently do not have a lot of different types, so I can use it as a, a placeholder for a little bit. As a scapegoat. Hmm. I mean, I might evolve it into an Espeon if I really want to, but I don't think I need that. Yeah, there are quite a quite a few good Pokemon there. Hey, good. I'm taking your Eevee. It's mine now. <laughs> he doesn't even seem to mind of it. Just yoinked it. Uh, is this the yeah the 15 across the board? So I can do whatever I want with this Eevee. I'm holding so on what to. Was, what was in your mystery box? I don't know. Honestly. It did it. It didn't ping into your, like, chat or something, oh, no, what on. it was? It's in my miscellaneous items, that's why. I don't know why it's all the way down there. I used it. 20 luxury balls from the mystery Damn. box. Damn. That yeah. ain't bad. Yeah, yeah Chris, is fa Chris would have loved that reward. Chris, you want some luxury balls? Uh, I mean, if you're not using them. I probably won't be, because I can't even use the timer balls I wanted to use to catch the things I wanted. Wait. Also, yeah, I gotta, I gotta take wait, what do you mean you can't? Items. Because half the shit I'm looking for is trade shit, or... And, like, you, you gave me the Bioplume, so that came in a Pokeball. Uh, the Scizor I just got, which came in, in it came in a Pokeball. Here, I'll, I'll give you these. Uh, there's a Slowpoke. Uh, except... Yeah, I know, it's gonna be, like, one of the few things I give. Uh, items. Okay, so your Fedora is gray with a black band. I need to take a note of that. Pokeballs, Roger Balls, all. Yes. Locklist. Trade confirm. Yes. Cool. Now you got some free you. 20 luxury balls. I don't know if you had any already, but now you got more. I don't believe I did, actually. Well, before you do anything with that, I want to see if I can adjust the color of the hat. Because now that I got You the can't. Uh, you need to, like, get to buy a dye for it. Do that. That's dumb. Or you can just go buy a new hat. No, with the it's, it's fine. I'll take it the way it is. I mean, no, you could still do that. It's just a matter of, like, where would you have to go to uh, get another one? Do you have any items I could sell? Probably. Uh, I actually don't. I just, I've been doing a lot of uh, trading and buying and stuff. Um, yeah, part of me just feels like catching Pokemon just so I can sell them and then buy more Pokeballs to buy... Catch more Pokemon and then sell those. I'm gonna buy more. So does that, uh... How does that tuxedo look? Uh, what do you mean? Actually, you can send you a screenshot of it, probably. No, no, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. It... Kind of looks yeah. like Giovanni's. Can I take off? How do I take off the backpack? I actually want to take the backpack off. Uh, you could just probably go into the slot and just hit none. Because I took okay, off so mine. It's, so it's it's not a dress shirt that's underneath. It's more like a just a t-shirt almost. I guess so? I can't really see it. Uh, I just want to take my backpack off. Oh, uh, I... Mm. Yeah, it should be under back. Yeah, I know. I can't take it off, though. Hey, yeah, you can. It says there should be a none option. All right, what are you on? The bat, the cosmetic items one? I'm in character customization. Where's that? Uh, all less the menu. The, all the way less to the right. Oh, there it yeah. is. Yeah. This is where you change your outfits. See, I wasn't looking at that. Ah, that looks much better without the backpack. Okay. Yeah, so that bright not... orange backpack on a black okay, body. So, nixing the backpack. Got it. Does that I mean, ninja that's... alpha come in any other colors? Uh, yes. Several. I'm actually gonna look at it. Not that I'll be getting it, but... Wow, uh, look at this this monster. Hold on. I have my own personal bodyguard. Yes. Fixing up. Alterations. Hmm. What was that about a bodyguard? I don't know, something about a bug. See if you can go in there. Okay, and it appears to be a form-hugging 
tuxedo, so we will go for that. And this, and then this. Cool. Uh, I'll buy one more since I have the coin. That's going to be a real pain in the dick to manage, but conveniently, that's what computers are for. I agree. Yeah, because I literally just finished inking before we started, so right now it's still got you in the tank top. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's fine. When I when I ink the tuxedo design and then I scan it, I can... It'll be meticulous, but I can get rid of the, the tank top and any vestige of it. So if I want to use this one, I'll hold on to this one for now. Nice. So you two are basically compiling a lot of shit from your final teams. I've still got three mons. To be fair, mine aren't going to be happy for a while. And technically, the one I have right now, one of them I have right now, might just be temporary in the long run. Yeah, I'm debating. Oh, yeah, I know. Debating between the Porygon and the Snorlax. Debating. So oh, don't forget to grab the leftovers after you're done with Snorlax. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be catching them just for the leftovers. Anyway, was there anything in... Well, not that oh, I you don't need to... Yeah, we have two to... objectives we need to do here. You don't One need of them to catch them for the leftovers. No, you can just steal it from them. No, you, well, you don't steal it from them. You defeat them and... Then, oh, yeah, they're well, on the ground. Yeah, the leftovers are on the ground where Snorlax used to be. Uh, so, what can... Or most, most of your moves are level up, right? What ability does it have? Scizor? Uh, probably, yeah. probably Hypercutter. Uh, technician. Ooh. Bug, bug bite. Oh god. De definitely give it bug bite. Yeah, bug bite is even more powerful than X Scissor if you have technician. Yeah, uh, bug bite. Um, what's a good? I don't think there was really a good steel move. It doesn't learn bug bite. Metal claw. It doesn't learn bug bite. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. It does as a oh, move sworn. tutor, as a move tutor at the fine with Move tutor there. or TM or something like that. No, it's move oh, tutor. Then. Okay, then then definitely take it to a move tutor at some point. Uh, I think either Metal Claw or Bullet Punch. I think both would get a technician boost. I have to find... They would, but I think Metal Claw would just be in a more inferior Iron Head at that point. Bug buzz. Hmm. Uh, and then, uh... Because, yeah, it would only be 75 versus base 80. Let's yeah, it would see. be then more inferior. Ahead. Then there's wing attack or aerial ace, dealer's choice. Then there's a uh, quick quick attack as well. If um, uh, actually it learns acrobatics also. Okay, so it's in Miss Stralton. I need to give two silver powders. Yeah, but acrobatics is already a stupid move. Stupid as in broken or stupid as in broken? Just... Yeah. But to be fair, there really aren't many good options for flying. No, I mean if you're if you're rocking technician, wing attack and aerial ace do base ninety. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's right. Technician. Keep forgetting about technician. Yeah. <laughs> aerial. I think ace if you or... really wanted to, you could even teach a U-turn just to get it out of a sticky situation. That's true. You could. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Uh... Uh, I know my competitive scyther, Psycho Mantis, knows. Uh, I think it's. Wing attack, or it might be aerial ace. I don't know. Do you guys How did you not name the Lorantis that? Oh, because my scyther was already named that. So, uh, well, I'll figure it out in between videos. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Take care.